So today, what I'm going to try to do is go 162 and 0. In an old video, I tried to go from a team that was 0 and 162 to 162 and 0. If you guys missed that video, you guys can actually see it on screen now. It'd also be in the top right hand corner. Also, the roster that I've been using is also on screen now, just because a lot of you guys have been asking for it. But the whole purpose of this video is just to try to go 162 and 0 or as close to it as possible in a three year rebuild. I don't know if it's possible. I think the most wins I've gotten were like 120, maybe 130, but who knows? It's def it, We're going to try and see if it's possible today. So if you guys like these videos, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And in the comment section down below, let me know future videos you would like to see. Also, all social media are down below. All that good stuff. Let's get into it. So as per usual, we're leaving budgets on so we don't have any like forced trades or we don't like just create a super team or anything like that. We definitely still want it to be somewhat of like a challenge where like we actually have to worry about a budget rather than just creating a crazy good super team and it's just not fair. So obviously you all know what the Dodgers are like. We have Kershaw, Ryu, Rich Hill, Maeda, Bueller, Ross Stripling. We have Urias, Dustin May, all that good stuff. Dylan Floro, this is probably the area I want to improve the most is the bullpen. I feel like it's, it's an okay area, but it definitely could be better. Kenley Jansen's here. We got... Catchers, Russell Martin, Will Smith are okay. We got Jed Jerko, David Freese, Max Muncy, Kike Hernandez, Justin Turner, Corey Seager, Jack Peterson, AJ Pollock and Verdugo. We got Cody Bellinger and Wright. So we have a, a really solid squad and I definitely want to improve it. I want to get it a little bit younger in certain areas. And then I definitely want to kind of improve this area the most. Maybe get rid of some of these younger or these older guys like Rich Hill. Maybe trade some of our younger guys who won't reach full potential within those three years and try to get someone who's going to help us out right away so we have a good squad and that's why i picked the dodgers because i feel like that's the closest we're going to get to like a really really strong squad to start with and then we can definitely build them up from here so let's make a couple trades and see what we can do so the first trade we're going to do is we're going to go out and get luis severino a starting pitcher instead of rich hill we're also going to trade kiba ruiz and matt Beatty or Beatty. i think it's Beatty as part of the trade jaron kendall rob strazin Strazin, Strazini, what I don't know, and then Joe Kelly are gonna be traded for John Brebia. I just want to get rid of Joe Kelly's contract. It's a little bit too high for my liking. Alrighty, Drew Jackson, Andrew Tolles, and AJ Pollock are gonna be traded for Cattell Marte. Again, I don't really want Pollock's contract, and I think maybe just try to find one more bullpen arm. Outside of that, I'm okay with the way the team's looking for this season. Maybe trade Ken to Maeda, Maeda because I don't want to pay him. For the next couple seasons and i feel like we can get someone a little bit younger so we'll see what we can do maybe two more trades and then we'll simulate this first season all righty kenta maeda and shea spitzbarth for and adam simber i almost said adam Spin simber it's adam simber all right we're gonna trade dustin may chris taylor and will smith for jack flaherty drew robinson's just to get the trade across for um salary purposes but jack flaherty is the pitcher that i really wanted what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go to free agency and sign a catcher now for like backup purposes but um that'll just probably just be like a one-year player um hopefully they'll sign a one-year deal um usually if you just throw them a bunch of money they'll be cool with it so let me get this lineup and rotation set and i'll talk to you guys in a sec all right so this is what our team's looking like the starting rotation looks unreal looks really really good um our bullpen looks solid as well not as good as i would hope but for the first season it's got not going to be too bad our lineup looks really solid our first base slash like dh is a little weak but um, I did bring in Scooter Jeanette on a one-year deal. We'll see how he goes. I know we are a very lefty-heavy lineup. So going forward, I'll look to add some more righties into the team. Um, Austin Barnes, I forgot, was in the like the minors as a catcher option. So the signing of Devin Mazzarocco really wasn't that great. But um, at least now we have an extra bat. And then Gavin Lux is a player who could potentially feature in the future. So is this a team that's going to go 162-0? Probably not. But we do have some budget to still work with. And then when you look at what players are possibly coming off of payroll... Russell Martin's the big one that I'm looking forward to. Um, and then a couple older players that are making a decent amount of money. Plus, a lot of players are still on arbitration contracts, so they're going to be pretty cheap. So I think this team is going to be set for the future. So let's see how season one plays out. All right, we might be onto something here. Things are looking pretty good. Like, actually, really good. 114 and 48. So first season, pretty solid. Almost broke the record for most wins in a season. We were two off from tying it. And we're taking on the winner of the wild card, which we all know what that means. But I'm not here to win World Series. I'm here to go 162 and 0. So Cody Bellinger 
MVP, league leaders, Cody Ballinger, Cattell Marte, solid offensively, Clint Kershaw, solid pitching wise. So let's just quickly take a look, see how things went. So Clayton Kershaw, unreal season, Hinjin Ryu, was good. Severino, Flaherty, Bueller. Uh, Flaherty was a little shaky, but you know what? He's going to develop and he's going to be on a small contract. So starting rotation shouldn't change too much. If anything, it'll probably just be Ryu after like the second season. I'll probably still try to bring him back for another year. Um, looking at our bullpen, Brebbia sucked. Baez was pretty bad. Um, Dylan Flora was pretty shaky. And then Kenley Jansen was good. So really strong starting rotation overall bullpen pretty solid definitely could find a way to improve on some of the guys that were disappointing but for the most part i'm liking what i'm seeing on the bench kike hernandez did well so he might actually be a player i bring back for another season verdugo was garbage holy cow and then uh, russell martin wasn't too bad either so kike hernandez might be a little bench bat that i keep around for another season or two um gavin lux is probably a player i want to get involved as well Cattell Marte amazing really glad we brought him in i'm pretty sure he's got a pretty like team friendly contract it's under five million for the next couple of seasons love to see it max muncie solid bellinger amazing justin turner did well jack peterson did well in terms of home runs and rbi production Corey seager is only going to get better jed jerko probably not a necessity going forward so we may end up looking to get someone a little bit cheaper a little bit younger um austin barnes wasn't terrible and scooter Jeanette wasn't as great as i would have hoped but he still wasn't like the worst thing that happened so postseason let's just kind of see how things go like i mentioned we're gonna get knocked out by the wild card and that's just how things are it's just it's just inevitable i'm just destined to lose to the wild card team in this this round of the playoffs it just happens that way so we do have a couple of players that went um for retirement doesn't really bother us because we weren't really using any of those guys so exclusive negotiations ryu can we get you for like 10 mil for the next year maybe even less maybe like 9.5 that would be really good i'm gonna let the rest of the guys walk because they are kind of aging players who i'm not really interested in i'm hoping ryu took that contract um, let's just take a quick peek. He didn't. Yikes. All right. We might have to throw him a little bit more money or we go for Garrett Cole or Mad Bum. The thing is, I have a feeling I really want to improve this uh, bullpen. And I also know we're going to have a couple holes in the lineup. So maybe we don't just throw all our money at our a starting pitcher. And maybe we just we just bump up reuse offer a little bit maybe look at michael Walker. how'd he do not great um maybe zach wheeler not great either alex wood we trade no we didn't trade him um i, th I still think we got to throw the money at ryu i th think he's gonna be the best option like yes mad bum's great Yes, Garrett Cole is great, but I think it's going to be too much money. Bullpen, I'm going to try to get Steve Ciszek as our setup guy. I mean, even Jeremy Jeffers wouldn't be terrible. Um, and then looking at the rest of the options, I do want to pick up maybe like a Justin Smoke or um, Jose Abreu. Um, and then I think that might be it. I feel like the team overall is pretty good. We'll probably just pick up a couple bench bats. I'll see you guys at the start of the next season. All right, so season two, I think we're only better. And I think we're getting really close to possibly hitting 162 and oh, like I've mentioned, I don't know if it's possible, but we're going to try. So let's take a look at how we did in free agency. Um, where we got, what do we got? What do we got? We brought in this guy, Brian Torero. Looks like a free agent, like a draft pick that wasn't signed. B potential starting pitcher, more of trade. A trade piece for the future we got Bo Joyle again another free agent like trade piece I was looking at Christian Villanueva is a player we brought in just as a bench bat Justin Smoke a platoon first baseman switch hitter should be okay for us um, and then Jose Abreu was another player that we brought in so not much has changed too much we also brought in Steve Ciszek um, I don't know why I didn't show on the roster history but when you look at the team it looks really solid um julio urias was in triple a last year he's gonna jump up to the bigs this year and uh, he's gonna be our long reliever and then look at the team i mean it looks really good we got a couple trade pieces we could work with down in the minors as well um ross stripling's potentially a player i'd look to move uh, maybe pedro baez caleb ferguson but um for the most part i like what we have here i'm gonna give john brevia one more season see how he does and then when you look at the lineup it is stacked Marte, Turner, Bellinger, Muncy, Seeger, Peterson, 
Abreu, Smoke, and Barnes on the bench. We got Kike Hernandez, Verdugo, and Villanueva. I like the team. I'm not going to change it this year. I think with our free agent signings and everything, we've got a really, really, really strong team. And I don't see why we wouldn't be able to win more than 112 games like we did last year. I think the bullpen got better. I feel like the lineup got better. Let's see how season two plays out. All right, so we've set a new record for most wins in a season. It's crazy. I didn't think we were going to do it. We actually got off to a really slow start in the season, but 117 wins and 45 losses. Again, taking on the winner of the wild card, which you all know what that means. So awards, Cody Bellinger, triple crown. Um, so we all know he's going to be the, uh, the MVP and then league leaders, Cody Ballinger and Cattell Marte again, Austin Barnes had the most walks. And then we have Flaherty and Kershaw for some pitching stats. So let's take a look at our pitching rotation, see how things went. Um, so Walker Buehler still kind of struggling, which is weird. You look at those stats, you would think he'd be a really good pitcher. Flaherty had a great season and then Hinjin Rio was really good as well. Urias is there. It's probably going to take over for Rio. But, um, when I look at the bullpen now, it looks perfect it is untouchable we are not touching anything for the bullpen uh, maybe pick up one long reliever to take the spot of urias but other than that it looked perfect that's what i want to see from my bullpen kike hernandez continues to do well um, he's going down probably because he wants to be an everyday player but even then it shouldn't affect him that much verdugo had a bounce back here tyler white did well and then christian villanueva tyler white why did he why did he come up? Was he always up? Maybe I missed that. Um, Christian Villanueva was okay, not that great. Cattell Marte, 44 home runs, okay. Just casual in your leadoff spot. Justin Turner still doing well, but I may look to replace him just because he is aging a little bit. Cody Bellinger did very good. He was obviously the MVP, triple crown winner. We got uh, Max Muncy, who's low average, but still really good power numbers. Corey Seager's doing really good. Jack Peterson's up there. Jose Abreu's doing well. Justin Smoke did well. And then, I mean, everybody did really good in this lineup. That is scary. Um, I think Jack Peterson becomes a free agent this year. So that's gonna be a player I'm gonna try to like lock down for sure. Um, ooh, Corey Seager does as well. We're gonna have to make some, we're gonna have to make some, uh, some budget calls here. But for the most part, team looks scary good. And we're inching our way even closer to that. Uh... What? We just lost to the Nationals. Don't get me wrong. Nationals in real life. Great team. Looks like they're, you know, pushing like they're actually testing the Astros for a World Series title right now. So Phillies defeat the Red Sox. Let's keep moving forward. But Apparently, we can't win a, a World Series when we have 117 wins. So, exclusive negotiations. I definitely want to bring back Jack Peterson. Um, let's let's just give him a little bit of money. Um, Jose Abreu, how are you going to do next year? You're going to be our first base. Ooh, Jack Peterson could be our first baseman. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off on the rest of the guys. Um, the staff's good because I just got all new staff um, for the most part. And then... Um, this is where it's gonna, oh yeah, ooh, he's still on arbitration, perfect. So we're gonna give arbitration to everybody. Obviously contracts are gonna go to everybody. Um, starting rotation is set. Long reliever, maybe a Robbie Erlin, how are you doing? Not great. Do we just bring back Ryu and let him be that long reliever? Um, Sonny Gray, not terrible. I don't really wanna touch the bullpen because we have a really strong bullpen as is. Um, Jose Abreu, probably going to be that first baseman unless we can somehow swindle our way with like a DJ LeMahieu to play first base. Um, maybe a Jake Lamb to play third base. We don't really need that lefty bat though. We have so many of them. Left field may just be Jack Peterson. We, we got some options. I'll see you guys at the start of season three. All right, so this is it. Here we go. Final season. Can we do it? I don't know, but I feel like with the team we've assembled, we should be able to. So Kershaw, Severino, Bueller, Flaherty, Urias. S yes, really strong. You move to the bullpen. We brought in Mike Miner as a long reliever. Brebia, Alexander Floro. Ferguson's coming up. I think I might... Like we have Chargua, Garcia, and Pedro Baez here. I feel like we should be able to trade them. Maybe upgrade on Ferguson, get a better lefty. But I, I'm looking at this bullpen and I'm like... Everything went really well last year. We shouldn't have to change anything. We brought in DJ LeMayhew. Um, Jose Abreu was brought back. 
Um, I think that was really the only change. Everything else looks really good. Like, really, really good. Um, I moved Mac Muncy, Max Muncy to first base because I brought in DJ LeMayhew and I wanted LeMayhew to start at second. But then I was like, you know what? Let's bring back Jose Abreu. So it kind of works like this. Um, Gavin Lux is kind of our second baseman for now. I don't, I don't mind it. I think it could be a good thing for us anyways. He's going to develop. But when you look at this team, I think it looks really good. I feel like we're in a really good spot. We could get a second baseman or a third baseman. Technically, that's a lot better if we traded Lux, um, if we traded some of those extra bullpen guys that we have sitting in the minors. But I feel like that's a... I don't know. I just feel like we, we still got a really strong team. We are within budget as well, which is kind of a huge thing. We do have a little bit of money to play with. I like it. I like the team. I don't think we need to change anything. Let's do season three. All right, so the season has ended. I think we broke another record. But unfortunately, we failed the challenge of 162 and oh. So before we go any further, guys, in the comment section down below, let me know how you guys would have changed the team. Or if you guys want to do the challenge with me, take a team, make a bunch of trades, use the roster that I used and see if you guys can make the best team possible. And if you can beat the wins that I did, don't cheat. Don't save every time you win and try to win 162 games. But this is what we did for the final season. 118 wins and 44 losses. I think that's pretty good. That's a really solid win-loss record right there. Obviously, it's a world, it's like a MLB record. So we got a Cy Young. We won an award at least every year. League leaders, Marte continues to do well. Cody Bellinger, Austin Barnes draws a lot of walks. I don't really understand that. And then Clayton Kershaw was just lights out. So Let's take a look at the pitching first. It's usually what we do. Kershaw, 0.94 whip. Oh, man. That is gross. That is super gross. But um, Severino did very well. Bueller, Flaherty, and Urias. I think the key is just you got to have a really strong pitching staff. And then, um, obviously, offense is helpful as well. But um, Brevia struggled. They brought up Baez, which means they sent down someone. Scott Alexander. Did he even pitch? Yeah, he did, and he wasn't doing bad. Why did they switch the two? I don't understand it, because Pedro Baez didn't even get a, a throw in this year. We have Floro, Ferguson did very well, Steve Ciszek did well, Simber did well, and Kenley Jansen. Really, Brevia was the only one that struggled in the bullpen, so I'm glad we didn't really change too much because things went very, very solid. To be honest, I would have sent down Brebia, uh, brought up Baez, and then kept Alexander. That's what I would have done, but apparently the CPU was like, no, 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 we're going to... We're going to throw a wrench in all your plans. So here's what we're looking like on the bench. Not terrible. Kike Hernandez was a really good bench bat for us. I'm really happy that we kept him. DJ LeMayhew did very well in our leadoff spot. Marte in the two spot did extremely well. Cody Bellinger, Muncy's power dropped off a little bit. But you got Corey Seager, Jack Peterson, Jose Abreu. Gavin Lux actually wasn't terrible. And then Austin Barnes. Holy cow. Who would have thought Austin Barnes would be putting up numbers like this? But hey. We broke a record twice in the majors for most wins in a season. We were like 112, 117, 118 the last couple seasons. So, I mean, that's pretty solid. We're ranked first besides speed and defense. And just for the laughs, let's take on the wild card winner and lose. Because that's what we do. We did it. We made it past. We're going to win now. It's it's inevitable. We're going to we're going to win a World Series now in the 3rd year just because we didn't lose. That's how things are going to go. So let's keep moving forward. And we're going to the World Series. Nice. All right. So let's just keep it like this. See how things go. We win. We lose. We lose. We lose. We win. Okay. We're, we're hanging in there. Game seven. World Series. Let's quick manage it just for the lulls. Just to have some fun. See if we can end this video off on a high. Dodger Stadium. Here we go. Jack Flaherty, take the mound for us while you're having a bad postseason. Jack Flaherty, take the mound for us. Grab the wheel. Lead us to victory. Lead us to victory. Not get absolutely shelled. So we're still down one. Haven't gotten a hit yet. Very disappointed in the team. We did take two walks, though, which is okay. I'll take that. Then we didn't do anything. So what is going on here? Um, Jack Flaherty, you are done. Brebia, you had a rough year. Let's see if we can get a bounce back. Tie ball game. Cody Ballinger. 
I'll take that for sure. Let's keep moving forward. See if we can uh, get the lead. Come on. Cattell Marte. Okay, Ballinger. Muncie. Bummer. All right. Uh, one run scored. You're done. Um, Caleb Ferguson comes in, gets the job done. So Seager walks. Okay. Double play. Just ruins everything. I was hoping that lefty-lefty matchup was going to work, but it didn't. We're losing by two now. What is going on with the team? All right, Floro, I need you one more inning. Perfect. Solid. Let's do this. Three hits all game. What is going on? All right, let's go to a lefty. Mike Miner, get the out. Lefty, lefty, you're going to allow a three-run bomb? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? You got to be joking me. All right, so facing... Do we go Verdugo or do we go Gavin Lux? Verdugo, I guess, right? We got one out, got him first and second. Of course, they go to the lefty. Let's go to Kike Hernandez. He's been so reliable for us. He bunts. He bunts. He bunts? I said swing. Why are you bunting? Ugh. Anyways. That's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We weren't able to go 162 and 0, but we were at least able to get 118. Again, guys, let me know in the comment section other videos you would like to see. I definitely am gonna start pulling comments and taking your ideas. And then once we get to that video, I'll like highlight the comment in the video. So if you guys wanna be shouted out in a video, leave a comment down below. I'll definitely start picking some of your ideas. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. Turn on bell notifications so you're notified whenever a video does go live. And I think that's it, guys. Social media all in the description down below. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.